Hey everyone, this is Mr. Isometric and in this video we are going to talk about limit location bone constraint. So first let's add in a single bone. Go into the edit mode. Let's duplicate this bone one unit in the front like this. Now let's go into the armature, turn on the name and axis. I'll make the axis into 0.5. So this is the local axis and to see it more clearly, I'll go into the wireframe mode. Now let's go into the pose mode and I totally forgot about screencast keys. So let me turn that on in the pose mode by hitting control tab. Uh, let's select the bone number one and let's add in copy location bone constraint. Now, as soon as I add this constraint, I can move my bone everywhere. And now if I select the minimum X, um, the minimum X, now this represents the in the world space itself. So when I move my X, my minimum X, now if you know what number line looks like um, in the negative direction before going negative, um, at the origin it is zero. So right now it is at X zero. And it is not going in the negative direction. As you can see the location X, it is not going in the negative direction, but it is free to move in the positive direction. So I'll also clamp it on the X now, the maximum X. And now it is staying at the center. So now let's make our X maximum value one. And now it is being clamped between zero and one. Uh, nice. Now, if I make this value, suppose say minus one, now it is moving a minus one unit behind and one unit in the front. So that is good. Now, suppose if I make my minimum one and this one, let's keep it at one. So now it is being clamped at one unit from the X. Let's make this two. And now it is clamped in between this two values. Now, as you can see, I have a little bit of delay, like I have to move a certain amount before I can move my bone. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Now that has to do with the constraint itself. Now, if I move my cursor beyond, you'll see that in the world location is just at minus 0 0.4. Now, if I move it way behind, now it is minus two and it is not actually one. It should be one, but it is not. And just for that, if I move this constraint now, you'll see after the X value, this value becomes zero. Uh, the bone will start moving and there it is. The bone just moved. Now, if I leave that and as you can see, I this uh, extra addition of the say the location uh, you can avoid that by clicking on effect transform now it is affecting the transform itself and it will set the transform to whatever the maximum and minimum is or whatever uh, the value you have chosen so in between that it will stay at 1.4 now if I go beyond you'll see that it is staying clamped at 1 and that is really handy uh, in some cases. So it doesn't matter how far you drag the your gizmo, it is going to stay beyond the limit and the movement of the bone will be like instantaneously. Uh, um, it will be instant. Um, so yeah, now let's check the Z and make sure that it is working. So I'll just make all the minimums to zero and all the maximums to one. And now easy way to do that is just click and drag down, uh, hit zero, click and drag down, hit one. Okay, so all my minimums are at zero, all my maximums are at one. Now let me just do Alt G Alt R to clear the location and rotation. Now in the X, uh, in the Y, it is free to move and we have not clamped our Y yet because Y is a different case. Now my X, it is clamped between zero and one. My Z is also clamped between zero and one. If I turn on the Y, Y doesn't move at all. Now, why is that? If I remove the effect transform, you'll see that Y is working again. Um, and I hope you all notice that this location, uh, when I move it on the Y, you'll see that the value, the value that changes is for the Z. And that is because in the pose mode, this transform that you are watching right now, oh, by the way, this is the properties panel. You have to press N 
to like view this in the item section now this represents in the pose mode this represents the local axis now if i go into the edit mode uh, now this head and this tail they are in the world axis and as you can see uh, let me just go into the pose mode again now it should definitely work with effect transform right but it somehow it doesn't work um, and to uh, to understand this let's go into the edit mode again now as you can see my head which is this point uh, globally it is at one meter from the from the root bone itself um, now what does this has to do with the constraint well if i go into the pose mode again uh, let me just um, make the z zero wait okay now from for the y from the origin is at one unit so actually the minimum y is at one like that and my maximum i have to set it at two so that it moves in the front like that so now my minimum is now set at one so from here to here it was already one so as you can see it's already one unit ahead uh, and just because i set my minimum to one it added from here from this uh, point to this point one meter one more so now if i make my minimum zero again as you can see from the original position the maximum i had to make it twice because two meter is over here so we are moving from like say zero which is basically over here to two meters which is kind of one moving one unit ahead uh, i hope this is not that confusing but yeah this is how it works uh, if you want it to affect transform now one way to solve this issue like if you want to have one over here you can switch from world to local space and when you do that it is working fine like it is clamping this is also working the x and the z is also working but in the local space now as you can see if you want to move it in the global direction now this is definitely using local die like uh, i am actually not moving this on the y right now i am actually moving it on the z as you can see the the values are they are getting stored nice um, now if you want to use world coordinate system but also want it to affect the transform you can switch to pose space now what pose space is basically it uh, it's using this coordinate uh, in the pose mode which is local coordinate but it is keeping the transform global uh, in a way so yeah now the effect transform it kind of is useless uh, in this case uh, because you will see the delay in them as you can see yeah but pose mode this will actually help you uh, to set the constraint to zero and one but it will actually make the effect transform lose its effect so basically use either world space or local space now if you use local with parent um, this issue like this issue also gets uh, solved uh, as you can see my bone is moving again uh, with the y0 and y1 um but again it is better to just use local space or the world space but depending on your need you have to use this so influence uh you can animate these values to make the bone like this constraint turn on and off so that's how you use limit location bone constraint now it might be a little bit weird to use it with this effect transform and the owner but with uh, using this constraint i think you'll get it um, and i just uh, made sure that this is really important uh, the head transform this is in the world space again and in the pose mode this is in the pose space or you can say local space all the constraint actually i'm talking about all the constraints uh, and all of these videos will be in one playlist so do check it out and thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and learned something new please do support my channel and this video like share and subscribe thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye